doing the no brushes makeup challenge. So I'm not really sure that should even be a challenge. I'm sure it's really hard, but at least I used to apply makeup without any brushes for a really long time when I didn't have any brushes. So that's just, I mean, all I could do was use my fingers. So I guess that today what I'm gonna be doing is just going back to the old days when I was a teenager and didn't have any brushes. So I just went with my good old fingers and I hope it turns out a little bit better than I used to back in the day. And I am totally ready, guys. I have a whole bunch of Kleenex right here because I'm sure I'm gonna need it because I'm gonna be doing everything with my fingers. And I saw Nikki Tutorial's video and she started with her brows, which I thought was a really good idea. I would have never thought to start with my brows, but I mean, she got them looking perfect. I probably won't get that look, but I am definitely gonna try. So I'm gonna start with my brow wiz. This is by Benefit. And seriously, I mean, it looks so bad because I use it all the time. So I'm just gonna like, kind of like apply it all over my brow because it's really pretty, hard to get a really clean brow just with your fingers so I'm gonna clean it up just like I saw in her video with some concealer and my brows right now look decent because I just got them threaded today but they don't usually look decent I don't know if it's allowed to just clean off some of the excess with just a little Kleenex is that I'm not sure I don't really know what the rules are. I'm also not sure if I could just apply directly from a product. I think I can't. So it's just really using fingers. Okay, now my brows are looking so bushy. So I'm gonna clean them up. I'm gonna use this NYX Gotcha Covered, which is a little bit darker. Oh my God, I have to make sure to really clean my fingers. That's really important when you're using your fingers because if not, everything's just gonna mix together. So I'm just gonna use a bit and just try and clean it up. Oh, wow, that really does work. I'm honestly impressed. I did not think that was gonna work too well. I was like, it's gonna be a mess. Okay, and there they are. I feel like it's pretty okay. You know what, I like this challenge because if anybody doesn't really have brushes or anything like that, I feel like you can get some really cool tips on how to do your makeup without brushes because the brow thing, I did not know. So now I'm gonna move on. Okay, no, you know what? I think I'm not gonna do foundation yet. I'm gonna do my eyes first just in case anything that happens. So I'm gonna use these uh, ColourPop shadows and ColourPop has this different formula. I was gonna call it, it is a little weird. I've talked about it in the past and their formula is, it's a little bit creamy. So it's really perfect to just use on your, with your fingers. And actually I think they recommend you using it with your fingers. So I'm gonna use Get Lucky. And actually I, I just thought of this color. I was like, oh my God, I need to use this color today. And I was actually at the ColourPop offices, you guys, their headquarters. They are amazing. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you saw that. But it was so much fun and now I feel so cool because I'm like, oh my God, I know exactly how these are made. But anyway, so these are a blessing for applying makeup with your fingers because you don't really get any fallout. But I'm just gonna apply it pretty much. What am I gonna do? Let me see. I'm gonna do two thirds of my eyelid. Yeah, I really like this color. It's like a bright gold. Okay, now I've wiped my finger off. I'm gonna go in with Game Face and this, um, what was it? Get Lucky. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do kind of like a tapping motion just to get those shadows to blend a little bit. And this is, I feel like this is gonna be the hardest part just because, you know, blending isn't really a simple thing. And blending with your finger just really makes things extra complicated. But we're gonna give it a try. So to blend out kind of like this upper part, oh my God, I look so weird there. What I'm gonna do is just, again, kind of tap, just pretty much tapping motions. And I think I really need to be patient here. And I might build up this game face a little bit more. I feel like, I don't know, it disappeared. Maybe I over blend it with my finger. I don't know what I did. And I do want to add some regular shadows. So I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox Full Exposure. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that matte dark brown and I feel like this is actually okay. I thought it was gonna be harder to just apply, but I think it's working. I think it's good. All right, so here comes the tricky part, which I feel is the bottom lash line just because you need kind of like a little brush or something. So I'm gonna use Game Face again. I'm just gonna go in here with my pinky and just kind of pray everything goes well. I'm gonna go in about halfway through. Oh, that's looking so bad. But also I have no foundation on yet. So my plan is to clean it up after with my foundation. That's my master plan. 
I'm just gonna start cleaning it now because it's looking bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use some more Get Lucky and this color, I mean, I feel like I loved it more in the packaging than on my eye. Maybe it just doesn't go with my skin tone. I don't know. I'm not in love with it, honestly, but it's already on. Oh God, there, boom. It's like, you said what? You just said you didn't like me? Now you're gonna like me, bam. Okay, here we go. Oh, that looks so bad. But you know what? I feel like makeup always looks kind of bad in here too, when it's halfway through. So do not judge right now. I'm gonna add a little more of that kind of really matte brown here on the outer corners. Okay, right now, I am so ready to clean all of this up. So what I'm gonna do is take my fingers and just run them through here. And I need to like run my finger clean. So now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and I really just wanted to go in with this big old applicator. It's so awesome, but apparently I can't. So why? Who made up these rules? I mean, in normal life, if you don't have a brush, you could still use an applicator, but all right, I guess that's what makes it a challenge. So, okay, I'm gonna use this, a lot of this to clean up. A ton of this. This is gonna be my life right now. And this concealer is awesome, so let's go for it. I told you guys. See, and you didn't believe in me. Working the concealer upwards just to really get that shape I want. Just to like bring the eye up. Okay, so there I kind of cleaned it up. It looks a lot better. Now I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation because I'm basically crazy. I just wanna go full on coverage and just murder my fingers. So I'm just gonna go in with this all over my face and I'm gonna just Try and avoid my eye makeup right now. Oh. <laughs> it feels like oddly satisfying. It feels like moisturizer, but with very full coverage. Okay, oh God, careful with the brows. And towards my neck. Oh, I really need to pull hard on it so that it'll blend. What I am noticing though, I don't know if it's because of the foundation I picked that is so full coverage, is that it just stays where you put it. You know, it's really hard to just kind of blend out. It just like, pssst. It sticks on there. Probably because this, you know, this is pretty much awesome foundation. It's just so full coverage. Look at my fingers. Can you guys see the foundation on my fingers? I haven't wiped it off or anything. It's just there. So a little bit more concealer. I've always applied my concealer with my fingers. I just feel like it's a lot easier, a lot faster. So this is really the same. You guys probably see all the time in my videos. So pretty much right now, the bottom shadows have disappeared. I'm thinking of adding a little bit more again, but I just don't wanna make a mess, so. I just don't know how to add a tiny bit because my finger is so thick, you know? Okay, rubbing it all off now. Mm, here I go. Now I'm gonna contour with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and this is cream. I'm gonna use this middle color right here, and I'm just really gonna like tap it in like that very fast, just work it in. That's all right. Okay, after this, I for sure need to go wash my hands, so. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, my hands are all clean and I'm gonna use my Dandelion Dew, which is a liquid blush and I love it. I use it all the time. I always apply it with my fingers. So I think this is kind of cheating because like mm, I do this every day. So, but this product is awesome. I love it. And I'm just gonna kind of work it in. This is pretty much what I do all the time. I just kind of like tap it in and try to blend it up towards my contour. I hate these little things when they pop up because this is like a ball of product and that's where accidents really happen. <laughs> I love it, I think that looks really cute. I love this blush, the dandelion. It's just one of my favorite blushes. It's just so cute. But now I'm gonna go in with this purr. And this is the Sunkiss Glow Strobe Palette. And I'm gonna use the color that's more towards this side. So it's the, so I think it's Aurora, like, Sleeping Beauty. And I'm just gonna highlight with this. Again, it's a cream product, so no big deal. You just do it with your fingers. I feel like cream products are actually better with your fingers because your fingers just kind of warm them up. I'm just gonna highlight with this bad boy. These products are so nice and just so creamy. All right, so now I'm gonna try and finish off my eyes and I'm not gonna line them because I'm not sure what I'm allowed to do because I would just line them with some like liner, like a pencil but I don't think I can do that. I've seen everybody put on lashes, so I am gonna do that, and these are by Tarte. So lashes really help you. I mean, if your makeup doesn't look good at all, you just put some lashes on it, it's like, oh, okay, not bad. You see, guys, I'm telling you, doesn't it look a lot better now? Mm -hmm. 
So I have literally no powder on my face. Right now it's all cream products. So I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier. I had no idea how you pronounce that. I would always be like, Laura Mercier. Is she French? I don't think she's French. I don't know. I'm just excited because I'm gonna be in France for like one day soon. So <laughs> right now everything's French to me. All I want is croissant. Croissant. Okay, no. Please people don't take it seriously. I'm just playing around with the accents. So anyway, I'm gonna pat this under my eyes. And oh God, that is way too much. It's oh, oh, oh. And then I'm gonna use this Makeup Shayla Tartus Contour Palette. I'm just gonna use the three and four. So I guess this is four to kind of set my contour. I'm gonna just do the same thing. I'm not gonna set my entire face. I'm just gonna kind of set it by parts. So this is gonna be to set my contour, and then I'm gonna set my blush, etc., etc. I went in a little bit too heavy here, so now I have to like really work on it. Oh crap. I'm gonna use this blush also for my cheeks, but only a bit, because I do want my dandelion to kind of still show up because I really love dandelions. And then I'm gonna go in with some of this Ofra highlight in Beverly Hills. And I'm just gonna, oh God, this is really shimmering. I forgot how shimmery it was, it's so good. I'm explaining, like, I'm gonna go in with my finger. Not like I've been doing that this whole time. <laughs> anyway, so I'm adding this top color and then I'm gonna add the bottom one, which is like the white one, just here, like one dot, one dot, and then blend it in. And I would say my face is pretty much done. All I'm missing is some lipstick. So I'm gonna use, oh, Rodeo Drive. This is really fitting. I used Beverly Hills as a highlight and now I'm gonna use Rodeo Drive by Gerard Cosmetics on my lips. And this is a little bit dark. I don't want it to be that dark, but since I have to apply it with my finger, I was like, well, it's fine. So I'm just gonna go in. This is brand new, it's so pretty. Mm, on my super dry lips. And this color, it's actually pretty similar to my lip color, so no biggie. Doesn't have to be anything perfect. <laughs> Okay guys, so there it is. My fingers are still a little bit dirty, but I'm done. If I could use a brush or something like that, I would probably make my eye just a little bit smokier, just the bottom part. I would add some more shadow. I didn't want to do that just because I thought it was going to be a really big mess, but I'm really happy with this. I mean, I would totally wear it out. I feel like it looks good. So I'm happy. I feel like I passed this challenge, which is really good for me because the kids makeup challenge i felt like i failed although you guys said i did really well so i'm happy i'm happy you guys liked it i'm happy you guys have been enjoying these challenges they're definitely really fun for me to film but anyway thank you so 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 much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.